up and bend over Yes, so welcome again today, my very wonderful viewers. Thank you for your comments, your suggestions, your requests, your views, your likes, your follows, following, as well as subscription. Now today's video is going to be based on popular request, where someone asked me how does he start using Virtual DJ. He want to have a very good overview of what the Virtual DJ is all about. Virtual DJ is actually a software that you can use. As a standalone on your system, just as you are seeing the keyboard, using the keyboard to control the functionality of your console, or you can use the turntable to attach it to it. But I'll be focusing more on the aspect of the keyboard because that is where the major problem is coming from, based on the point of view of the request I saw. So you first need to understand that just as I'm communicating with you, I'm speaking a language that you really understand. You also need to understand that for you to be able to for you to really act, translate your normal DJ ideas which you have in your brain either from your turntable skills into the virtual DJ keyboard aspect you need to understand that there is a way you communicate with the machine just the way when I'm speaking you really hear what I'm saying from the layman point of view it means there is a particular structure in which things have been arranged that when I speak and your brain decodes it it tells through your ears you automatically know what i want you to do or what i'm telling you so it's the same thing there is a processor in the system that does the analysis and everything and the way you pass the message will determine how the machine will respond so i was somewhere and i was speaking with someone from india in particular and you know how indians speak so it's virtually everything they said has an r in it you ask you how are you i'm doing firing don't worry, that was a lighter note. If you are from India, please don't pick offense while watching this video. It's just for the fun of it. It's just to part, tell you how. So while while I was responding to him, I was telling him I'm firing. I'm also attaching R. So the guy just smiled at me. I was like, ah, why am I saying speaking in that way? I'm not from India. I said that aside. So in continuation with what you are about saying, with that little understanding I just gave you. The same thing is applicable if somebody who speaks french has his own structure of arranging words the same thing someone who speaks any other language what i just like the point i also made mention in my one of my video about someone who speaks arabic so in the arabic and the arabic sense of it they write from the other side of the hand that is from the left sorry from the right to the left while the English speaks from the right, from the left to the right, and the machine reads from the right to the sorry, from the left to the right, from your left hand side to your right hand side, and the same way you write and from up down. So, with that little overview, you need to understand that there is a file called the mapping file, which is the file that takes care of keeping all your settings for this keyboard you are seeing here. So, I'll tell you how to locate it your virtual DJ. I'll also make a link for my own file available below this video so that you can download it maybe you want to use my own mapping you see how i'm operating it and as well as the drum pad everything is there on the link so you download then i will tell you how you can just copy it into your own then you start practicing all you need to do is go to your system go to your window you can clearly see from your window there is this so from your window here you have document look at it when you select this document you come down there is a file called VG, vdj let's scroll down for you to see so 
so this is the software sorry this is the folder located in your document so when you see it this is it virtual dj you double click it when it opens you go up this particular folder sorry when you open it it's called mapper inside it you find this document sorry you have this series of documents these are settings these are files that keep your settings for the virtual dj so when you look at it you will see there are different different settings here i think i have also for keypad this is for keypad that is for pad this is for another different device look at them one after the other then this is the one i'm using virtual dj so in the event you download it whatsoever folder you download it from let's say for example after downloading it after downloading it look at it you now have it it's always in xml file xml format so this is it you see it has an extension .xml at the end that should tell you that it's an xml which means it keeps record of key value pairs don't worry if you are not a programmer that is not your own area of concentration just download it then you click here you copy it when you copy it from whatsoever folder you download it into you come to this particular folder that is virtual dj here you open it go to this particular folder called mappers you open then right into it you paste this is it you can see i just copy it and paste or you can move it into this particular folder i'm going to open it you are going to see it in the virtual dj software for you i'll tell you where to locate it in the virtual dj software on your virtual dj don't worry don't worry about this particular environment i'm using yours my virus so if you cannot have, if you cannot see this if you cannot see this particular environment you use shift tab shift shift the shift button or better see let me say control tap this is it let me show you again look at this is a shift key and then alongside the escalate button look at it this shift key with escalate that is esc once you click it it open up this environment for you to see the entire setting so this is where you find your setting look at the setting at the top here So you can clearly see DJ Don Genius up. So you can, if you click this arrow key down, you will see the host of the different settings I have here. This is the default one. This is it. Then it's just that I have not closed the system. If I close it and I reboot it, you will see this particular one I just copied into it. So whenever you copy a new one, close the virtual DJ uh, environment and reload it again then you will see it automatically this is the one i'm using so you also see it like this in your own then you just select it once you select it it automatically move select it and place that settings for you then you are good to go with it so all the functionality i'm using which is the n and the l and the control l this has these two three commands has been so much of concern and controversies don't worry it's already there for you once you copy it you will enjoy the way i'm using it so even the drum pad look at it I'm using function keys F. This is F2, F3. You can see individual sounds. It's already attached. So you can also copy the drum part like that, but you have to unzip it from the file first. Then you copy it into. I will show you the folder you copy it into. Uh, this is like a bonus. You go to your documents, that particular folder again. Sorry. This is it. Let's go back inside the virtual dj folder so this is the same virtual dj folder you open it you go to mappers sorry not mappers this time around this one since we are dealing with samplers you come to samplers here then this these are the different sample of the drum here so you can copy it into anyone let's say preferably audios you can copy it into this place or better see you might not necessarily copy it you can just go to the normal environment here can just go to the normal environment here 
Let me show you something here. Mm -hmm. When you click, when you select tab, uh, control tab continuously, it's going to show you this particular environment. If the file is there, all you need to do is to drag and drop on it. Drag and drop, drag and drop. It will automatically create the setting. Although I have a particular video where I dedicate detailed explanation on how to put this drum part. It's right there in my link. So go through my videos, you'll see it. I explain it detailly how the people who design the machine design it and how you can use that particular format. I also have a video in respect to how you can put it in your own Android phone too. So that particular video is here. You will use that to get everything done. Then in combining commands in Virtual DJ, yes, the movement of your hand really matters. In this situation, after putting your commands, don't forget, as I've said, there's a particular way the machine reacts to events. So, the speed of your keyboard also matters. If you don't know how to adjust the speed of your keyboard to respond to your effect, to your action on it, there is what we call latency in your system. You can check that one. I, I won't go into detail of that, but most most of the time, I know it comes on your most system come with it on the normal level. But if it is not on the normal level, especially for Windows, you have to adjust it so that it can react very fast. Can you see? So look at it. Try pressing this your letter J if you are using this my or any command that you have attached. Maybe your Q and press it continuously very fast and see how the system reacts. If it reacts the way your hand is moving, it means the setting is okay. If it is not, then you need to find a way to adjust it. Look at it. So this is it. You can see how fast it responds. So it means your settings is okay. So the command of the virtual DJ machine is categorized into, should I say, three major levels. We have the simplest level, which are the the different commands, which means a verb. Where I explain also a verb, just in the normal English language, a verb is an action word, which means an instruction that you tell somebody what to do. Don't forget, computer is all about instructions just from the definition of computer which talks about compiling commands and giving the commands to the machine for the machine to give you a result so the way you compose those commands it really matters so you have to write it in the language that the machine understands let me go to the setting back again you have a lot of verbs for the machine let me use any key let me say h you have effects you have a lot of things so to give you a brief the commands are in different stages. You have the simplest level, which are the normal commands such as play, hot cue, backspin, uh, break, uh, forward scratch, backward scratch, and the list is endless. You also have bid grids. I have not made a video, but I will be making a video in that regard too very soon. You have cut effect, you have volume, you have faders. So just the way you do it on a normal turntable, uh, that is how they are also there. So you also have, as you go further, you will now have the aspect of combining this command using AND. But in this case, it's not the normal AND that you know. You use the normal symbol sign of AND. Look at it here on my keyboard that you know. So you use that one to combine the commands. Maybe you say play and, and let's say play and loop play and beat grid but so the way you combine this thing really matters so even the way you combine it as i've said before the language is very sensitive if you put beat grid and play it means it will start beat gridding before it plays if you put play and beat grid it will play before beat gridding although the difference is going to be very minute that you might not notice it that is why I was explaining about loop effect. If you watch that video, you see how I'm trying to say some things that how you put those commands really matter. There is a way you combine it. I'm telling you, it will not work until you have to be very specific on which one comes first. So I won't go in detail, but I'm just giving you an idea so that you have it at the back of your mind while combining those commands. Then when you move from there, you also have another aspect which talks about the state of the keyboard. In this place, in this stage, we call it tenor operator. So the tenor operator is also another interesting aspect where you query the machine, maybe you query the state of your keyboard. If a key is down, you should execute this action. The moment you release the key, you should stop. 
there's also another one that talks about execute this action while the key is at so state or execute this action while the song is playing if it is not playing don't execute it or is it uh, making this that is okay that is we have moved from the end which is the second stage the third stage is going to be the macro sorry the micro the macro yes the micro is the simplest aspect just simple commands and then and joining them another bigger aspect is the macro in this case you'll be attaching complex commands just from what you are seeing on the keyboard yeah, this is a very complex command i'm querying the machine on different things at the same time and i'm telling you do this if it is like this or do that if it is like that just as maybe you are going to use the atm atm is a general machine that is always available in almost every part of the world now where you want to make withdrawal there is a tenary operator that is running at the background of that atm that machine in particular so the first thing is just the moment you put in your account now you put in your necessary information it queries the account balance before giving you the money once it queries your account balance and your account balance is below what it is in there in there you will not get anything it will tell you you have a sufficient phone and it's that that command is executed within milliseconds such that you might not notice it that's why no matter except you have an agreement with the bank or you are using a credit card where it gives you access to withdraw even beyond your limited account balance or your account balance limit so that is how interesting the computer is designed so irrespective of whatsoever operating system you are using I'm sure the same thing cut across with the Mac version, even though I've, I haven't made any video for Mac version operators, but I'm sure it's also in that line. So it's actually an interesting aspect. So while you are working on it, the key thing there is you might not know everything overnight. It's while working on it that you gradually get to understand it, how to use it. And you need to know that there are different interfaces here if you for the tutorials about it, for audio settings. At this stage, this is where you can adjust your unnecessary audio settings. If you want to use microphone on it, look at the aspect of the microphone here. Your time code, if you are using the time code uh, DJ device, this is line in. Maybe you want to be getting sound from inside. These are for your amplifier settings for the internal device, not the external device. This is the interface. This interface gives you the opportunity to adjust the look of your device. You have different different settings here. You can clearly see them. How you want it to be this is for the mac this is for the controllers this is where you put in your mapper settings your file for the mapper how you want your keyboard to react or how you want your controller that you attach to the device to react to certain command these are options in this case you adjust some things maybe how you want the pluto uh, the tutor to react how you want your loop to react how you want your tempo and a host of other things you have your license this one is not not too necessary except maybe you want to buy these are for some other feature that you want to download effect samples and a host of other so it's a very interesting software that if you understand how you use it you really enjoy it whenever you want to close your escalate key will do the job for you sorry you are seeing another different environment i've actually selected another environment without even knowing so this is another interesting environment you can clearly see it doesn't stop the fact that the device will still play in that particular way because the mapper the kit in there is a mapping file which does the job so you can clearly see let me demonstrate something here so so the difference between loop and and hot sorry the difference between there is another kit and there is diff, some people are confused about what hot q is and what q play is there's also q stop so hot q takes care of starting the song when you press it it starts the song continuously it doesn't stop but q underscore play which is this letter j does the job of the moment i is like play the song while the key is down but the key thing there is when you press it after a particular time it continues although there's another function that takes care of doing the job of timing it is called hold the hold command when you hold the key for a particular period of time, it queries it. Once it gets to that particular time, even if you release the key, it's either execute it or you to continue the command. I will be coming to that aspect too. But in this case, look at this one. This is hot. This is hot Q. Then this is Q 
Q play. Once I press release, then you also Q underscore stop. That one also does the same thing like this. But the difference there is if you are playing and you press it, it stops the song at a particular Q point. That is what that one does. So I won't go be going much. Thank you for watching this video to this point. I'm sure you've learned something very interesting again today. I always remember humble self as you as I continue to give you the very best. So don't forget to like, subscribe, or give your suggestion on any aspect of the DJ machine that you don't really understand. I will be there to give you. Those who have placed this request, I'm sure you've really enjoyed it. And I'm sure and I'm also looking forward to getting more from you. It is true that we get to learn and we also give you the very best as you expect. So I still remember humble self. Okay, okay. Shut up.